Welcome back. And now we are ready to focus on the servlet. How servlet will take request from this registration page, what are available here. So here, uh, if first you have to create one servlet. How to create servlet? Simply right click on your, right click on your project new and servlet. Here, see, right click new servlet tag is there. You will click here. Automatically, it will open. It want to know what will be the package name. I think from the course Java training, already you are aware, you should write every classes inside the package. Without package, if you are writing, that is meaningless class. For college level students, it's okay, but for industry, that is meaningless. So here, I'm going to give package name. And one more thing, package name, how you should give. Suppose I'm writing here com dot, writing my project name, suppose Facebook dot my package name, suppose controller. Any name you can give, but this is one standard you should follow to provide the package name. Means your package is commercial package, educational package, what type of package is there, what type of project is there. So if commercial com, educational edu, organizational org, government gov, after that project name and then your package name. Yes, now my class name. Suppose for this, I'm using my class name like a Facebook. Suppose servlet. This is my class name. And now ready to ready to send my ready to click next. And if you will see automatically for your your parent class will be HTTP servlet. As I told you in video <coughs> last video, HTTP servlet is child of generic servlet. See here. If you'll click on next and after clicking next, simply you will not touch, you will not do anything. Here only one important part will come. That is the service method. <coughs> you simply select the service method here. After that, unselect all other checkbox. Just select service method and click finish. And yes, here your important uh, servlet is ready. Now we are ready to fill the data inside the servlet. We are ready to write, we are ready to start explanation of servlet. So hope you are able to understand how to create servlet. How if anyone asks you to create a servlet, then how you will create servlet inside the Eclipse in your project. Step by step I have given in the same way you will follow in your uh, this one also when you will create any project. So there also you have to follow in same way. So hope comfortable now. Yes, I'm fully ready to write code of servlet inside servlet. How servlet will take your request and will give response to you. So hope up to this stage you all are comfortable. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.